In calculus, there are several methods of integration. So it's important to recognize when to use which method. Integration by partial fractions is used to integrate rational functions. What stands out is the denominator. Notice the denominators are factorable into linear or quadratic factors. I'll be doing examples that cover each case. The first example applies to linear non-repeating factors. Find the integral of 7 over x squared minus 5x minus 6. The denominator can be factored into x minus 6 times x plus 1. We express the fraction as a sum of two simpler fractions, and that's why it's called the method of partial fractions. On top of each linear factor, we put a constant. So we have a over x minus 6 plus b over x plus 1. What we want to do is find the constants a and b. To do this, we always clear the fractions. So multiply both sides of the equation by x minus 6 times x plus 1. Now we have this simple looking equation to solve for a and b. There are actually two approaches. The easiest way is to substitute values of x in order to make each term zero. Notice the factor x plus 1. If we put x equal to negative 1 in there, the a will disappear and we'll be able to solve for b. So substitute negative 1 in for all the x's and we have 7 equals 2 b times the x is negative 1 now, so b times negative 1 minus 6 7 equals negative 7b we found b, b is negative 1. Next, let's get rid of the b term. If we let x equal to 6 and substitute that in, the equation becomes 7 equals 2 a times 6 plus 1 plus 0. 7 equals 7a, so a equals to 1. So the two partial fractions are 1 over x minus 6 and negative 1 over x plus 1. So let's plug it in the equation, simplify it, and then integrate our result. The integral of 1 over x minus 6 is ln of absolute x minus 6. Then we have a minus sign. The integral of 1 over x plus 1 is ln of absolute x plus 1 plus c. That can be written as log of absolute x minus 6 divided by x plus 1, but there's really no point in doing that, so I'm leaving our answer in that format. QED